Hallelujah. It is so great to come your way once again this beautiful Thursday morning. My name is Kayo De Nathaniel Tomomewo, reaching us live on this platform, Daily Impartation. I pray that today will be a great day in your life, a day of testimony, a day of progress, a day of miracle. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Anywhere you are listening to me all over the world, that those doors you are knocking shall be open unto you. I pray for you that today no calamity, no sorrow for you, your family, your business, power to please God, power to love God, receive it in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, for the remaining days of this month, I'm going to be talking about the God of 11th hour miracle as stated in Matthew 20, 1 to 16. Matthew 20, 1 to 16. That is a long, a long uh, verses to be read. But let me just summarize it. You know, Matthew 21 to 16 spoke about the kingdom of God being likened to an householder which has a vineyard. And he went out early in the morning and sent people to his vineyard after agreeing with them that he was going to pay them. You know, the Bible says he went out in the third hour again in verse 3. He went out in the third hour, you know, hire people into his vineyard. In verse 5, the Bible says in the sixth and in the ninth hour, he went out again to hire people into his vineyard. And in verse 6, the Bible says at the eleventh hour, he went out. Eleventh hour. And we are in the eleventh month. We are in the eleventh month. So very, very, very powerful uh, uh, picture of what God can do at the eleventh hour. Now, let me just say it in no shed. God of eleventh hour miracle. Let me start by establishing the fact that every one of us needs a miracle. Everybody. Whatever you are listening to me all over the world, you need a miracle. It could be miracle of salvation of soul which is one of the greatest miracles you can have because the Bible says, what shall it profit a man if you gain this world and lose his soul? It could be miracle of healing, miracle of good health. It could be miracle of financial prosperity. It could be miracle of marital settlement. It could be miracle of finishing of project. Everyone, there is no one that does not need a miracle. So when we now talk about 11th hour miracle, we are talking about last minute miracle. You know, like we are in the 11th month in November. By next month, we are saying bye-bye to this year. We are talking about last-minute miracle. So when we talk about God of 11th hour miracle, we are talking about God that can give to us last-minute miracle. And I pray for you, wherever you are all over the world, listening to me. May you receive 11th hour miracle in your life in the name of Jesus. That is the essence of the whole message. And I'm going to be teaching it in series. I'm going to teach it to the end of this year. That God of God, there is a God that can give us 11th hour miracle. That miracle you are looking for, though it is getting to almost end of the year, you can get it, sir. That is the God I'm presenting to you. Now I want you to pray where you are. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stop here. I want you to pray. You know, okay, before I stop, the Bible says at the eleventh hour, just like we are in the eleventh month, month of November, the man went out again and he called people to his vineyard. And in the twelfth month, he, he, he said to them, he called them in the eleventh month. So there is still calling. Doors of miracle is still open. Doors of opportunity is still open. Can you pray where you are? Can you cry to God that Lord of eleventh hour miracle visit me in the, before the end of this month, in the remaining days of this month? God of eleventh hour miracle visit me in the remaining days of this month. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I pray for you wherever you are that God of 11th hour miracle will visit you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are not yet born again, can you pray this prayer with faith that Lord Jesus come into my heart? 
be my Lord, be my Savior. With my heart, I believe, and with my mouth, I confess. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Now, help us to share this message. Let it go over. Don't keep it to yourself. And uh, don't forget the Bible reading. Coming along with it, be committed to it so that you can be a strong Christian. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. When I meet with you tomorrow, it's going to be with miracle. It's going to be with testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you tomorrow by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is so great to come your way once again this beautiful Thursday morning. My name is Kayo De Nathaniel Tomomewo.